Hello, class of 2015. Congrats. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, you guys made it. First of all, we totally want to hear from you. Um, we, we really miss our great students when they're gone. Um, keep Roosevelt University close. Your professors will remember you. We are here as a resource for networking, uh, helping you develop connections, just coming back and checking in with us. We love the success stories. We love to hear what you all are doing. My students are like my children too, and I want to see them succeed. And the love that hopefully you have with your teachers um, is something that doesn't stop when you graduate and they appreciate you staying in touch. In order to uh, follow your passion for social justice, I would say that you stay in touch with your faculty, um, continue the work that you did when you were a student. And I think it starts with where your community, where, where you live and, and what's important to you and your family and your friends. And that's where social justice really lives. It's in where you can make a difference in the lives of people in your community. Think about things that you're passionate about. What is it? Animal rights? Reproductive choice? Homelessness? There are organizations throughout the Chicago metro area and throughout the United States that work on these and other issues. So consider signing up to volunteer and be a part of those organizations. Passion is what keeps you alive. I mean, we're spirits. We're, you know, we're vibrating beings. And to have a spirit that actually moves people, you know, then you're actually contributing to the human race in, in, in a positive way. On graduation day, take time to savor the experience. Hug your parents. Stay calm. Don't trip. Celebrate however you want to celebrate. The day is going to be awesome and memorable when you look back on it. Realize all the people that have helped you, all the people that have supported you all the people that have cared about you and made it possible. Hug your parents. So don't forget the people who taught you during your time here, the administrators that you worked with, and your fellow classmates. This is your professional network of the future. You don't find jobs through the WAN ads. You find jobs through people you know. So network, network, network. Create positive habits, and I think being kind to each other is a good habit to get into. So my advice to the class of 2015 is to see the world as the world sees itself by learning about other cultures and other experiences. And then use that knowledge in everything you do. Travel often, travel widely, bon voyage, haus kamatka, shasiva vaputi. And I really think that no matter what you do, if you put joy and you put passion in your life, people will feel that. It's okay to make a lot of mistakes. That Actually, you learn a lot in the process of making mistakes. Learning what you don't like is often just as important as learning what you do like. Everything in life is what you start, but also what you finish. And to have the ability to um, take on all the challenges and just to grow uh, is really says a lot about you, so well done. So I would have told myself on graduation day to uh, grow my hair really long while I had the chance. That's what I would have said.